Here we are just doing a, a bit more testing and um, a bit more listening at this point rather than transmitting. I wasn't entirely uh, happy with the, uh, I guess, the audio that was coming out. It didn't sound very real, um, or at least it didn't seem comparable to um, the audio that I was getting when I was connecting up to the local repeater, gateway, etc. So I thought I'd just make some adjustments uh, to the board itself and see whether they made any difference. I'm just going to swing you down there and uh, hopefully we can get that QSO to pick up again and I can show you what I've adjusted. So just bear with me, I'm going to turn it back up. Because I was actually getting um, a little bit of R2-D2, um, <coughs> which is, you know, garbled lost packet, stuff like that. Yeah, you coming over the dog, hold me over. And I'm just going to wait for them to start talking. We'll make some adjustments so you can actually listen to what happens as I adjust it. So I can hear that audio changing. That was where it was originally set. I'll just go back to that original position where it was. And I'm actually turning it 90 degrees. And you hear that sounds a lot clearer. Again, go back well. to the original position. Uh, no electricity and then no water. <laughs> it's been back and forth from next door to here. And back um, to the new position. Obviously, you know, with all the alarms that everybody's got around here, all the uh, well, they, they turned it off at the substation. And you can hear that um, certainly sounds uh, a little more natural. Um, certainly more natural than it was. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is just jump back into uh, the echo test. So I'm just going to disconnect that. Again, just by doing an RF, you can see we've got a connection here. Okay, so there we go. So we're disconnected. Just going to jump back into the test. Do a quick read. So what I'm doing here is um, just make some uh, making some adjustment to uh, it says the the RX pot, um, which is the one furthest away from where the USB goes in. So I'm actually going to be adjusting this one here, <clears throat> and I've noted this is actually the one that affects my audio, which it, it seems at odds because I would have thought that um, would have been the TX one, which is the one um, according to schematics, which is this one just here. Uh, but that's the one that I've been adjusting to affect changes to the receive audio or the audio that I'm receiving So maybe it's talking about here. Who knows? Anyway, so this is the one that I've been changing to affect um, changes to the audio of the receive um, And to, to clean that up a little bit. So I'm making some adjustments here I'm, I'm going to run through some tests and you'll actually hear those tests and see whether you think there's any difference I think there is a little bit of a difference and I've got it to a point where I'm a bit happier and I think the audio sounds a bit natural so what I'm doing is running the um, test tool in Echo Test. Uh, just clicking on Start. Um, I'll run through this, and uh, you'll be able to hear the uh, the variation in audio. So I'm going to go right back. VK2 MRX testing. VK2 MRX testing my minus 90 degrees. VK2 MRX testing, VK2 MRX testing at standard position. VK2 MRX testing, VK2 MRX testing plus 90 degrees. VK2 MRX testing, VK2 MRX testing at full. And you'll hear the receive audio now. Testing, testing, this is Papa Alpha 4, Yankee Bravo Radio with an order after test. VK2 MRX testing, VK2 MRX testing, minus 90 degrees. 
VK2, MRX testing, VK2, RX testing at standard position. VK2, MRX testing, VK2, MRX testing, plus 90 degrees. VK2, MRX testing, VK2, MRX testing at four. Um, now for me that's sort of about that somewhere between the plus 90 degrees and uh, and full which are very close it, um, it doesn't actually look like you get a full 180 degrees out of these uh, so probably going to set that back to 90 degrees and leave it there uh, which is about the um, same advanced position over normal uh, that uh, the, the other one was the, the receive audio or sorry the TX audio um, one was which is the one here on the left so I've advanced both of those about 90 degrees uh, and I think I'm actually getting a cleaner signal um, and I think it actually uh, sounds a little bit more natural as well now also just to show you after I've made the adjustment to those pots uh, all, all the headers seem to be coming through okay as well initially when I was making the adjustment some of these uh, were coming through after the space were coming through red I'm not entirely sure what that means but at this point um, when I key up VK2 MRX testing VK2 MRX testing There we go, and we'll scroll through, and you'll be able to see those lines there after the um, after the space, um, which are, are we, which are just here. Turn off the focus. Which are these ones just here, coming in in green, uh, and as per the website, uh, that's what we want to see. So that all appears to be okay. Up on the other end, it was four seconds. So there's four seconds of latency in the system, both keying up and keying off. So when you say over, you can count to four before the other end sees it's gone off. And I've checked it thoroughly on many stations today, and it's uh, definitely an issue that causes a lot of RTD2 and doubling up and this sort of thing. Uh, in some cases, the person's actually let, let their microphone go, and someone's keyed up on the tail end of that person's carrier, which has screwed up their signal. Uh, that's probably the easiest way I can explain it. The reason for the latency is of the switching, the switching in the gear, and also the long distance. For me, on the UHF signal, I had to go all the way over to the server in America, and then back down the other line. So, uh, you know, it's 20,000 miles, 40,000 miles, but four seconds is not too bad a delay over. Here you go, call. We will stand by for your transmissions. Please do so. Over. Uh, two E zero, KSH. It would help as I didn't transmit on my uh, local GB3 US repeater to try and break in. But uh, working from home this morning, uh, and good morning to you, Carol, Barry, and um, and everyone, anyone else, everyone else that's, that's listening. Good morning. Bit wet here in Sheffield. Uh, back to you. Nice to hear you, Barry. Zero KSH. Good morning, Christina. Yes, we have a bit 